April, how long have you been living like this? I've been living like this for about two or three months at my parents' house. I've been wearing sweatshirts and I leave in the morning and when I come back, my mom is gone to work. And then when it's time for her to come home for work, I just leave again and I stay gone until I think she's asleep. Or so she really has late. no idea that you're pregnant? No. And your biggest concern is that your boyfriend is African American and that you think your mom is, or you know that she's racist. Mm -hmm. Let's say you got pregnant by a Caucasian guy. Do you think, what would her reaction, that, that you're just pregnant, period? I think she would not care as much if the father of my baby was white. But I know she is racist. When I was in high school, I brought a black boyfriend home and they just ignored him and wouldn't even say anything to him and made him feel uncomfortable until he left. And then after, she asked me if it was my boyfriend or just my friend, and I told her it was just my friend. And she said, well, it better be. And, uh, but now you have a, a boyfriend that is black, and um, how long have you been dating him? I've known him for about three years. Three years, so mm -hmm. it's a long-term relationship. Mm -hmm. And uh, was this pregnancy planned, or? No, I didn't plan it at all. All right, but and you have a good relationship with this young man? Yes. And, and when you told him uh, you were pregnant, his reaction was? He was shocked. He wasn't exactly excited. He was excited, surprised, but right. Young, you're young and it's kind of scary. He's supportive of me though. He's supportive of you. All right, um, does, does your, and your mom doesn't even know that you're dating this guy. No, she doesn't. What do you think when you tell her, you know, one, that you're pregnant, two, that you're uh, pregnant by an African American uh, man, what do you think she's gonna do? I honestly believe that she'll kick me out or she might disown me and not even talk to me anymore. She'll disown you? I do think so. I'm terrified that she might disown me. And if she kicks you out, what are you going to do? I have no idea what I would do. I mean, my boyfriend does have a job. He is working. He's looking for a second job. I'm on unemployment and I'm looking for a job, but we can't afford a place right now. All right. Um, your mom's here. Does she have any idea why she's here? No, I don't think she does. You nervous? Yes, very. And your mom's name is Rose? Yes. Let's bring Rose out. <laughs> um, and Rose, Rose hasn't been watching backstage, so. How you doing, Rose? Hi. Thanks for uh, coming on the show. Um, I know you're really not uh, sure why you're here today. Um, any idea why you're here? No, I don't. She has something she wants to tell you. Mom, I know you've been asking me a lot of questions and you've been pressuring me to tell you what's going on. And I wanted to tell you that I'm six and a half months pregnant and the father of my baby is African American. How do you and so, um, how did you meet this person? Through a friend. And who is this person? His name is Pierre. And how old is Pierre? 25. And so what are your plans? I'm planning on having a baby, and I would like for you to be supportive of me. And so what made you change your mind? You were always a person who never wanted children. I didn't plan on getting pregnant, but once I was pregnant, it's not like I didn't want to have the baby. 29 weeks pregnant, and she's afraid to come and tell you. That's why, a good question. Why, yeah, why, why is that? I don't know. Why is that? Because I think you'll kick me out. I know you don't like black people. When you first met you told me I was an N-word lover. So I think you would kick me out, and you wouldn't want to talk to me anymore. Well, what are your and Pierre's plans? Or are there plans? What do you mean, what are the plans? What does he have to say about this baby? I mean, he's supportive of me. He has a job. He's looking for a second job. And? So are you going to live together? So, you know, bring Mom, the baby? I think Pierre is here, right? Yes. And we could bring him out in a minute. Um, I guess what your daughter, and stop me if I'm wrong here, I think her main concern was you were going to be upset that she is pre impregnated by an African American man. And your response to that is? This is not my life, it's her life, it's her choice. 
Would you have a problem with her being pregnant by an African-American man? I don't, know. Okay. Because my belief is, in any race, there's good and bad people, it doesn't matter. Fair enough. Um, and you legitimately want to meet this young man, and you probably got questions to ask him? Let's bring him out. Here's Pierre. Yeah, I'm Pierre. Nice to meet you for the first time. Uh, reason why I'm here. Uh, I'm basically here because, uh, you know, I wanted to support April. Um, I never got a chance to meet you. I never had a problem with meeting you on my own, like under my own terms. I just want you to know that, um, you know, all black people aren't the same. Uh, I don't, like, I've personally heard you myself, you know, say racial comments that would make me feel uncomfortable meeting you just so I wouldn't get out of how character. Did you, how did you hear those comments? Oh, uh, well, actually, uh, you know, April, me and her hang out a lot. Um, you know, her mom called periodically, just say if it's a little late, kind of. And you know how, like, somebody answers the phone and you can just hear them? Sure. First thing come out of her mouth, like, oh, you're not hanging out with black guys, are you? I'm like... Like, did what does you, that mean? Did you, you know? ask that question, Mom? We have. Um, and the reason why is because the areas in um, where we live, some are not very good areas. A lot of there's drugs. There's black people in all the areas. No, uh, a lot Even of drugs in the house. area where you were hanging out. Don't roll your eyes. That's not polite. But, well, but, I mean, there's white drug dealers. Oh, there are. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I guess honestly, what you have to do is, you know, be honest to yourself and be honest to your daughter. Do you have a problem with her being with the black guy? It's not my life. If that's what you want to do and that's where you're going to be happy, well, okay, does, does he let love me, you? Let me phrase the question a different way. You're going to have a grandchild that has African American blood mm -hmm. in his or her body. She's his or and that little baby boy or little, do you know it's a baby boy? It's a boy. And that's my it's main a boy. concern. I mean, not to right, cut but, in, but I don't want her acting, treating him differently. You know, I don't want. Well, what I'm saying, will you love that grandbaby like you would any grandbaby? Well, I hope so. It depends on April. You know, she's not a very um, <laughs> close daughter. She keeps her distance. So that depends on her and how, uh, why, how this and goes. Why, why do you think that is? I don't know. Well, because this is your turned, daughter. Shouldn't you be I don't know. When she turned 18, she says, I'm, I'm out of school now, and I don't have to tell you anything. That's basically how it's But been. she lives, uh, you I live know. under the same roof. Oh, I know. And, and I, it's really that much distance between the two of you? Where are you going? I'm going to my friends. When will you be back when I get here? Does she have a, a, a legitimate concern that she hasn't told you because she feels that you are so racist? Oh, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I'm not do so you, racist. Do you use... Uh, Racial slurs, the N-word, do you use the no, N-word? No, I do house? not. Okay. She says you do. Well, I think she's mistaken. I'm sure I'm not. Okay, whatever. I, I, all I guess is if my daughter was six months pregnant and she just told me and I didn't know about it, I guess I'd be more emotional, more concerned, more everything than kind of like the way you are right now. I mean, how about the fact that she, you guys have been dating for two years, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, they've been dating two years. You didn't even know her boyfriend. No. Is it all mom? No, I mean, I'll admit that I don't tell her a lot, but it's because I feel uncomfortable telling her anything. And I know anything I do tell her, she's going to tell my sister, and then the whole world will know. And then she'll <laughs> always throw it in my face. I guess, I, I don't even know if the main issue here is that your daughter's pregnant with an African-American man's baby. I think the issue is here, we have a mother and daughter that just don't talk to each other, period. <laughs> Can you relate to this story? Go to www.stewilkos.com to get my help. You're gonna have a grandbaby. Uh -huh. Are you joyous? Are you happy? That's kind of kind of new information, you know? I think I gotta digest it, but I, I have two grandchildren, and I love them very much, and I'm sure I'll love hers very much as well. She was worried that you're gonna throw her out of the house. That was to be something I wouldn't do. So, you wouldn't throw her out. Of the no, house. I wouldn't. So I'm gonna continue to be able to stay there. Uh, you're gonna have to talk to your father. He doesn't know. What about you, though? If it was all no, your decision, I wouldn't throw her out. You wouldn't throw no, her out. No, I would not throw her out. <laughs> but I'm not raising your baby. 
I never asked you to raise I my baby. I wouldn't raise her baby. Well, and in fairness, you shouldn't have to. Um, is Pierre welcome to come over and be in the house? And I've asked her to bring her friends over. She wouldn't bring them over. But what about, I'm talking about Pierre. She yes, asked, you can come and meet my husband. They'll be fine. You are welcome to come. Okay, I'll go. take you up on that offer. <laughs> well, there you go. She's, and, and like you said, now, I, I don't want you to speak for your husband, but do you think that he's going to, like, want to throw your daughter out of the house? You know, I think it takes him some time to think about a situation. He can be impulsive like a lot of men can. Sure. You know, first, first reaction, but I think when he thinks things through... And I think as a man and as a father, if you spring on a man, uh, uh, you know, hey, Dad, I'm 29 weeks pregnant. That's a he, shock. He, I mean, I'm guessing he'd be a little bit upset. So I think that's not, like, going to be a shock to you if, if your dad's upset, but you got to give him a chance. Uh, Pierre, I just met him. Seems like a nice guy. Very good looking guy. Mm -hmm. Good for you. You are a nice uh, looking guy. Yeah. <laughs> I wish you all the best of luck with your, your child about to be born. Uh, try to be good parents. Focus. Don't let the outside distractions of the world get involved with you raising your child. Oh, yeah. No, no doubt. No okay. Doubt about that. So good luck to you, Mom. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. We'd love to have you. Click here to watch more Wilco's. Click here to subscribe and get a front row seat for all the action.